what's going on YouTube and welcome to my channel um, today I'm just gonna talk about my vehicles um, there will be more videos for each vehicle well for my projects at least so uh, my wife and I we have five vehicles I have this 2009 Chevy Silverado uh, it has the newer Silverado wheels on it OEM wheels and I love it. It's black. But as you can see, everything in our yard is black. Um, my wife's daily, which is her 2013 Honda Accord. And then my wife's car, which is 1973 Impala. Uh, the 73 Impala has 36,000 original miles on it. We picked it up uh, last year down in, from the original owner down in Georgia. He bought it for his wife in 1973. And she said it was too big, so he bought her a duster and he parked this one and he drove it every now and then since 1973. Uh, he dropped and we went and picked it up from him last year. Um, everything runs good, runs really well on this car. Um, I drive it back and forth to North Carolina all the time. Um, and I'm, I live in Virginia. And also, uh, yeah, it's all original, everything. So the only thing he had done was he added some exhaust to it, but that was it. Everything is up, so it's all original. And I'll be doing a video on this car as well. Uh, my baby, which is my 1996 Chevy Impala. I've owned this for about six years. Uh, the wheels are powder coated black. Uh, it is, um, yeah, it is a 1996. So the shifter is on the floor. It currently has no engine in it. Uh, I pulled the LT1 engine. Uh, the car has about 107,000 miles on it. Uh, I pulled the engine because it started knocking. I was gonna get the engine rebuilt, but I decided not to get it rebuilt. And I'm gonna do an LS swap. So LS swap is coming soon. Um, I am putting a LS2 out of a Corvette in it. And I got the 4L80E transmission it's just an extra spare tire for my truck if needed so this one uh, I have all the parts which I'll do a video on as well I have all the parts those are I, I got all the BRP parts so for the swap so everything should be pretty easy uh, right now the only thing I'm waiting on is the harness uh, once I get this harness in then I'll be good to go I have everything else that is needed so once I get my harness in, it'll be a, it'll, I, it'll be on and popping. Um, I do have, I blacked out the, the headlights. So the headlights are blacked out and as well the tail light. So everything's black. Um, the goal is I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna uh, put some black, the chrome delete kit on it. So it, all it is, it's gonna be some wrap, uh, 3M wrap that I'm gonna put on there. So it'll be black. Uh, I may black those out as well. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I know I am going to get the black trunk emblem right now. The plan is to put a to put a backup camera right here um, instead of having the wires running. Because as you know, these plates flip down, so we won't be able to have the won't be able to have the wires running. Or well, I don't want the wires running. So, but yeah, that's my that's my baby. 96 Impala. The interior is all good. It's uh, it's all original. So it's the, got the gray interior. There will be more videos on this car as well. And then my last one is 1987 Grand National. Uh, I've been looking for one of these cars for a while. I found it about two months ago. About two months ago, I found it and I picked it up. And I am in love. I love this car. Um, it's one of the cars that I had on my dream list. Uh, three cars that I wanted was was a 96 Impala, a 87 Grand National, and a 71 or 72 Chevelle, which I will be buying probably in the next, next few years once I finish these. Um, so I want to this car runs and drives, but there is some work that's needed. It's, it's set for 10 years. So I do have a couple things that I have to do to this car. So I will be going through it soon, 
but the goal is to finish my 96 Impala first and then I'll start focusing on this. Um, but this one, I'm not gonna do much to it. I am gonna do some engine work to it. Probably put a bigger um, turbo on it. Uh, for y'all that don't know, the 87 Grand Nationals came with the V6. So it's a V6, a turbo V6. So I probably will put a bigger, a bigger turbo and a bigger inner and another intercooler on it uh, and do some work to the engine. Um, and then I will get it repainted. It's sat in the barn. So there's like spots on it from where the, the paint is gone. Um, he did, the guy that I purchased it from, he did he did get another hood. One of his friends had a Grand National and he, he grabbed the hood from him because this hood had been sitting and that water had been sitting right there on it. So it kind of messed it up. So he gave me that hood as well. So when I get the car painted, I am going to get it painted back black. Once I get this car painted, then uh, I'll have an extra hood as well, just in case anything happened or, hey, I want to sell it. But yeah, this is my baby. Um, let's see. I think that's all for this video. Just wanted to introduce you uh, to my car collection. Um, I think I'm about to sell this truck. Um, we have three kids, so we need something a little bigger. So I think I may be getting it. either a Yukon XL or a Suburban. I'm not sure yet. We haven't really decided, but I'll figure something out pretty soon. But yeah, this is my car collection. Um, I will be having more projects coming up. So until then, talk to y'all later.